So how are the new vehicle taxation changes going to affect you and your customers? And are you prepared? Let's start by summarising the key changes that came into effect from the 22nd of July, and then we can go into a little bit more detail. The government has decided to close all the local VROs, the vehicle registration offices, and to centralise most of their activities at the DVLA in Swansea. This in particular affects how you register new vehicles under the AFRIL system. And so the main changes are that you will no longer have a stock of tax discs on the premises and you won't issue a tax disc when you register a vehicle. In future, the disc will be printed and posted out by the DVLA in Swansea. It is legal for you to release the vehicle to the customer without a tax disc and for them to drive the vehicle on the road without displaying a disc for up to 14 days from the date of first registration. You'll have three options for where the DVLA can send the tax disc to the registered keeper, to your dealership or to a fleet address. More about this in a minute. You'll also be able to advance register a vehicle by up to 14 days before you plan to deliver it, which is an increase from the current four days. There are other changes and we'll touch on those in a little while, but these are the main ones. And although they don't necessarily seem that significant, they will affect the sales process and could give you some headaches if you don't plan ahead and follow the correct procedures. 